Good evening, everybody. Unfortunately, I am dropping frames right now. I do not know why. It's been a problem the last couple of days, so I'm not sure what's up. Uh, hopefully, it's just the music, which I'm going to go ahead and kill right now, so we'll see if that fixes the problem. But it's just going to be me tonight on comms. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody with me, but that is all right. We will make it work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn on error sound here. Well, never mind. Error sound is on. I just can't hear it. Very interesting. Maybe he has it muted. I'll let him know. See if we can get some game sound going here. Yeah, another great match tonight. Error 72 versus Jay Coper. Er, uh, probably not as versed in the actual randomizer as Jake Oper, but definitely a very solid Zelda 2 player overall. Um, has got a uh, fantastic all keys time, so uh, for sure going to be a fantastic match here tonight. Jake Oper's been playing extremely well tonight. Uh, not tonight, but uh, recently rather, so I expect him to do as well tonight. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully my uh, my frame rate stabilizes. It seems like it has. So if we keep dropping too many frames. I apologize. I'm I'm not sure why my internet has been a little spotty the last couple of days. So I'm sure they're doing something to the lines again. Looks like error might be trying to fix his sound. I'm not sure. Ah, we have sound. All right. Let me know if it's a good balance here. Alright, cool. Thanks, Horror Kid. Horror Film Kid. Much appreciated. Alright, I think these guys, um... Should be getting ready to go here. Jake Oprah's readied up. Error's readied up. So we should be getting ready to rock and roll. Vegas Odds, great question, Buzz Thunder. I would say it's about one-to-one. -one. Uh, Air 72 with probably the better combat and overall skill portion of Zelda 2 with Jake Oper having perhaps the better maybe randomizer understanding but both of these guys very very solid players and we'd have a start let's see what we end up with here Right away we got a palace, and right away we got a cave. Uh, GP right by start, nice thing to have. And uh, trophy cave. So we'll see what item this ends up netting here. GP right by start is uh, is always kind of nice. You know, can uh, just up A, get right there, no big deal. And we have a raft, so very nice find right away here. Uh, always nice to get that one out of the way. So... We've got, uh, got the good item already. Means we can access Eastern Hyrule. We'll see if these gentlemen duck into the, uh, the forest tiles in an attempt to maybe get some experience. Jay Cooper will. Does not find it, unfortunately. Just gonna up A out. Air making his way towards the north here. Wow. 
Finds a town. Looks like we're going to find Mido. Nice to have that pretty close to start as well. Once they get access to the ability to get down stabs, should be a pretty quick find. Uh, another palace over there on J. Coper's side. I did miss which one it was, unfortunately. Looks like we have the pass-through cave there for, for error, and he's just going to skip it. Nothing else in this bottom corner, so we're just going to get an up A and head back to the start. P2. So we got Palace 2 and GP so far. We have a Raru sighting on uh, Jake Hoper's side. So he'll go ahead and, and try to catch what spell this is. Got a nice boulder block there. Uh, be interesting to see if that ends up coming into play at all, or if there's actually a way around it. And the Raft Spot. So it looks like we're going to have to take that pass-through cave... Uh, this magic will strengthen the shield. These lucky gentlemen end up starting with Reflect, which all, we all know means that uh, we're going to be spending forever in a day finding the uh, item in Palace 4 to get Thunder. A shield spell here for Jake Oper as well. Looks like we are definitely going to have to go take that pass that we ran into earlier. Meanwhile, a reflect pickup just at the same time as we have a shield pickup. So bang on even for these guys thus far. And uh, Jake Oper just going to decide to take the raft and head over to the Eastern Continent. We'll see what uh, what Air chooses to do here. It looks like we're going to have the same decision. So early raft in its early eastern continent. Uh, outside of Trophy Cave, we haven't seen anything. So we've got that pass-through cave, which I'm pretty sure um, is going to be the requirement to go anywhere useful. P-Bag pickup for Jake Ober, and going to be a P-Bag pickup for Error 72 as well. Both going to grab Attack 2, and uh, Life, nope, Error going to go ahead and skip Life 3, and uh, hope to be able to pick up Attack 3 here. Unfortunately, it takes a death, that guy not being very kind. Only 50 EXP, but just 60 short of getting attack 3. Meanwhile, we have a P-Bag Sighting Cave. P-Bag Cave Sighting on Jake Hoper's side. And Larry with his fantastic emotes, which I can finally use. I missed what item he got, unfortunately. But we'll see it right here on Error's side in just a moment. Must have been a heart container, as he has now got five heart containers. So, obviously, not what these gentlemen are looking for. But it's nice to find early on, for sure. Will Error take this guy out before he dies? He does. He's going to get attack three along with the heart container.
Meanwhile, Jacob refined what we find to be either Palace 3 or 6. A paltry 70 experience from the Red Iron Knuckle. Nah, uh, I second that, Larry. That tends to be the, uh, the situation. So this guy's basically making the exact same moves. Um, and, uh... That's basically it. We do have an up A from Error, though. He's going to actually go back to the Western Continent here a little bit earlier. And um, I assume I'm going to take that pass-through cave or maybe attempt Palace 2 here. Meanwhile, Jake Oper doing the Dick Shake special and grinding Iron Nickels. So Eric does make his way back here. He is going to go ahead and take this pass-through cave. Meanwhile, Jake Hoper looks like he's going to go check out uh, the same cave here. Maybe Palace 2, actually. He hasn't explored the southern portion, so he's going to check it out. Find out that there's really not anywhere to go and uh, have to make a decision from there. Meanwhile, Eric finding a nice river here. Uh, looks like we're going to have a second pass-through required um, in order to go somewhere. We also have this bridge, which is always a possibility as well, as Era finds the heart container cave. And a nice boot find here for Error 72, so that'll allow him to get to a few extra places. And we also have a magic container cave here on Error's side, so finding all the goods, uh, Jake Hoper should be there very soon himself. Here is the glove, very nice. Easy seed is easy, right? Do have a Palace Force sighting, but he does choose to not go in despite having Reflect. Um, so it looks like he's just going to search for those other few caves that are remaining and then perhaps go back that direction. It looks like we do actually have a uh, rock blocked cave here as well, so it uh, will be interesting to see if uh, it looks like it's going to be the pee bag cave contains anything useful. Magic container for Jake Oprah out of the grass top. And a hammer out of the uh, the medicine cave here, so all the goodies here on the on the Western continent, outside of perhaps the magical key, which could very well be inside the Peabat Cave. So we'll see how long it takes Air to head his way down towards the southeast. That's basically all he's got left here. Uh, once he finds that, then uh, 
We might see him jump into P4, as there wouldn't be much else to do on this continent. I guess he could do Palace 2 as well, so not much left to really do on this side of the world. Finding all the goodies. Glove, Raft, Boots, and Hammer. Uh, minus just the Thunder Spell, and maybe Fairy Required, and we are going to be full-on Dig Shake. I've unfortunately been missing what Copers gets. When, when he gets to a menu, I will definitely update it. But he's been in the southern east or southeast portion and hasn't really picked up much yet. So a kid sighting and pick up for Air 72 mil. Jake Hilfer is lagging just a little bit behind here, uh, but he's going to be doing the same things here that uh, Air 72 has already finished. Boot's going to make it a little bit easier to navigate, perhaps, through the eastern continent here. We do see VOD, which should be just uh, around the mountain range that we have here, which is unfortunately blocking quite a bit. But with the boots, we should be able to jaunt on down and see what we can find, and it is a Maze Island sighting, which Error is going to promptly ignore. A lot of work for 150 experience, but does get the Red Lazalfos down there. Meanwhile, Jacob, we're still looking for these final caves, as we do find the second Peabag Cave on Error 72 side for the Eastern Continent. So, uh, at this point, uh, still looking for the Fairy Spell or the Magical Key in order to make some progress in these palaces. Oh man, and it is. It is in fact the magical key. So at this point, all you need is that reflect spell and maybe, maybe fairy to get through a, a room or two. Uh, pretty generous seed thus far. We'll see if we get the, the general uh, thunder spell with the item in the last place you look, troll. But uh, very nice seed thus far.
Meanwhile, Jay Coper finally finding that medicine cave is going to be making his way to go pick up the hammer. Uh, I, I missed it. He, has he found the boots yet? I don't think he's found the boots yet. And death here by error, but he's just playing around trying to get some experience here. And we do get that hammer pickup for Jake Hoper, so he will be able to find himself the uh, the kit as well as hopefully the boots very soon. So no downstab making this a little bit interesting. But gonna go ahead and up A and head back into P1 here. Meanwhile, Jake Oper going to find the kid here in the P-Bag cave. Or no, yes, the kid here, yeah. I still don't know if he's found the boots or not. And we'll have to see. Well, Air 72 making his way through P1. It's going to be item searching, which may or may not be a bad thing. I would suppose that he figures that, that since he's here, why not? And uh, showcasing a little bit of combat expertise on the blue iron knuckle there. I wish I could do that. While Jake Oper still moving around the western continent here. He's going to find, hopefully, the experience to pick up attack 4 here. Well, again, you got to remember, Arrow is newer to the randomizer and uh, doesn't necessarily like to skip easy things. Meanwhile, Jake Oper getting no luck whatsoever picking up this final 15 experience that he needs and does end up taking a death. Uh, meanwhile, Air does find the item, and it is the cross, which, uh, not the greatest item in the world for sure. Uh, early on, it can pay off. Uh, just giving you a little bit of help. We've had some pretty bad seeds with uh, MOA encounters in them, but uh, definitely not something he was looking for in that case. Meanwhile, Jay Coper heading on up here. It looks like he probably does have the boots, so I'll go ahead and mark those for him. Indeed he does. So I'm not sure what else he's looking for at this point. Um, he has everything on the western continent. Maybe just heading back to the raft location? I'm not quite sure. There it is. Yes, heading back to raft. So, error with a little bit of an early leg up as far as exploration and progression uh, does have that key available to him, which is allowing him to make it through the palaces pretty much unhindered. Uh, Jay Cooper is going to have to take the time to find that, which if he heads south, it should not take too long for him to locate. pick up that pea bag. Gives him a smooth 200. We'll see if he can get through this encounter without dying from the Moas. 
And he does very well. Meanwhile, Air 72 does make his way to Horsehead. And is going to be able to pick up a smooth attack 5. So, uh, pretty good on the leveling thus far from him, having completed no palaces. Meanwhile, Jake Cooper does find that pea bag cave, which contains the any key. So he'll be happy to see that. That'll allow him to start pulling into the into the palaces. Uh, unfortunately, unless there's a really big uh, requirement to find an item for Thunder, and, and Jake Cooper finds it first. Um, it could be a little bit difficult for him to make up time, uh, as it doesn't feel like there's going to be much backtracking, if any at all, in this seed. Well, error. Going through the gigantic Dig Shake Swamp. Perhaps looking for the entrance to VOD here. Not finding it. That is a that is a fantastic swamp there. All right, so we'll see what Jay Coper's next move is going to be here. Uh, Maze Island is probably a good choice. Is that the water tile there? That looked like maybe the water tile. I could be wrong. And there is the VOD entrance. Let's see what error does. We do know where the Maze Island entrance is, and Jay Coper opts to take it. Pea bag and water tile. Alright, thank you, Buzz Thunder. I am doing my best to track two at the same time. Uh, we do have the attack five pickup, and I believe it was life or magic three there for error. Uh, nice pea bag drop as well, so plenty of experience. Nice encounter! What an encounter that was. All right, and Eric gonna make his way. No, he's not taking Maze Island. Very interesting choice. Uh, he just does not want to Maze Island, but he's pretty much got no choice at this point. Uh, it's Maze Island or bust, unless you want to take caves. Uh, meanwhile, a little digger, inflatable dig shake available right now for just absolutely nothing, as long as you go to the kidnapped kids cave. I suppose I can understand wanting towns, but at the same time... If you can find a horn here on Maze Island, then uh, you can just go right past that River Devil. An interesting choice to, uh, to look for towns, but I can't say I blame him. I'm trying to find Thunder, get rid of the, uh, the, the prob probability that you need to find a spell item. So it does make sense in that, in that case, for sure. Well, Jake Cooper's still searching for that second item. And we've got, I believe, Palace 5 on Maze Island here, so... Uh, a little bit rough early on at 4-3-3, but... Um, we'll see what Jake Cooper decides to do here. And kind of a not-the-cave-we're-looking-for situation. Uh, Eris' combat skills paying off a little bit here for him. He's able to kill some of these Lizalfos pretty quickly and not waste too much time and get a pretty huge experience gain out of it. So, uh, getting quite the levels um, without actually entering palaces and using gems. Nice 300 there from the orange Lizalfos. Yeah, Jacob are still looking for this second item. Unfortunately, has not located it yet. We do get up to that northern portion. We find Old Darunia, or Old Kasuda, Old Darunia. Yes, indeed. We'll see if the old man gives his usual spell or not. Remember the magic word, the spell spell, from the old man in Old Kasuda. So scratch one off the free list here. 
Uh, Maze Island just giving Jake over the ringer, unfortunately. Not finding what he is looking for. Did he find the trophy? Okay, so trophy on Maze Island. Fantastic. So that is one of the other spell items down, just the medicine remaining. Which, if everybody knows, it's in Palace 4, and it actually is the item required for Thunder. Hard container on the desert tile. Fairly normal. And we have a Darunia find here for error. Unfortunately, um, no way to get upstab currently unless the kid blocks jump or fairy. Which you don't want to see because you really want to find thunder, but at the same time you kind of want to find fairy. So we'll see what we end up getting here. Meanwhile, Jake Oper does find that water tile. He's going to be probably a little disappointed to see a pee bag, but it does happen. He's going to opt for life four here. This magic will make your sword shoot fire. It's 55. And we'll see what it does. And he's going to opt to go out without testing it. So, so far, we are set up for that fantastic Thunder Troll. Well, we do have another town just south here. Let's see if it is Naburu or New Kasudo. Either way, it is a free spell. It is Naburu. So, get your bets in now. Will we find Jump? Will we find Fairy, will we find Life, or will it be Thunder? And it looks like Fire is linked to either Life, Reflect, Thunder, or Spell. Hard to tell. It is Life, okay. Use this magic word to restore your life! Oh, thanks, old man. Much appreciated. And it's more expensive than Fire anyways. Of course, we kind of knew that was coming. Because if I remember right, unless it's been fixed, the, uh, the town that fire is normally in, the spell there will uh, always be the one that's linked to fire. Jake Ober gonna make his way through the palace, I believe Palace 1. And Air is still frantically searching for stuff. We, we just need uh, Nuka Sudo, is the only one left. It's sure to be in some really troll location. Because this is, in fact, Zelda 2 100% all randomizer. Jake Coper also opting to search for the item in P1 here. Fantastic cross. And it looks like we have found New Casuto on Era 72 side. We'll see how many magic containers are required. It requires seven. Uh, it be interesting if that happens to be the medicine. Which contains thunder. He does have enough to cast a spell. Jake Ober fighting the wrong direction in Palace 1.
This magic word will give you power. And we have a fairy find. So, we have got, so far, the trophy found on Maze Island and the medicine missing. 50% chance we've got to track down that medicine. So, this seed is basically looking like every other seed we've had thus far this week. Medicine in the spell location! Easy game, easy life. We'll see if this actually pays off with uh, Thunder. I'm gonna head over to Mido, grab Downstab while finding out what spell this is. With uh, Trophy being on Maze Island, uh, not much of a troll as you're likely to check those items pretty much no matter what. So, uh, pretty, pretty tame seed thus far. And we do finally have a horse head over on Jake Oprah's side. And you should take this out, no problem. Unfortunately, does not get enough experience for the next attack level. I missed the uh, the spell. No, that wasn't the spell. He's getting downstab. Man, I look away and I get confused. I apologize. I can give you most powerful magic. Thunder has been acquired. And casting cost of 80. So just enough magic right now to cast it without an extra jar. So I would say at this point a fairly commanding lead for error. He's going to head on in. I believe this is a palace too. Nothing else to look for at this point. We are in full on dig shake. At 35 minutes in on top of that, very forgiving seed here. Jake Hoper is going to... I don't... You know what? I've missed what spells Jake Hoper has gotten. I think he still just has Reflect and, and uh, Shield, because he hasn't found many of the other towns. I could be wrong, but he took this pass and immediately found Nuka Sudo, so... I don't know that he has uh, found any other things, but he does find Fairy. And again, I apologize for the drop frames. I don't know what's causing it. My internet has been terrible. It could just be Twitch. an A for error here as he finds a dead end that he doesn't want to deal with. Remember the magic word, spell spell, found for Jake Oper. We'll see if he doubles back to go to Nuka Sudo.
and a helmet head find here, so we're going to have a Phallus 2 finish very quickly for Error 72. Not caring about the levels whatsoever. Jacob, we're going to get upstab, which Error did not get, so it'll be interesting to see whether or not that actually comes into play or not. Pretty rare that that, that does make a difference, but it can. Jake Oper gonna grab himself the fire spell here. Meanwhile, Air is making his way through the Western Continent. Looks like he might be heading towards Palace 4. Jake Hoper is going to go pick up another spell, and it's going to be the life spell. Not what he's looking for. dead in here for error and palace four I'm gonna go ahead and head on up meanwhile Jake Helper making his way on through looking for that desert tile item uh, does up an a without going back to get the spell item out of new Kasuto so we'll see how long it takes him to actually head back that direction uh, to find out whether or not That item contains thunder or not, which we know too contain thunder, but uh, he is going to go back to Rudo and get the disappointing news of jump available from the trophy. Aaron not finding what he's looking for, going to head back the other direction. No need for items when you have everything you need. And get downstab as well for Jake Oper here. Thank you. 
So Air is still working his way through Palace 4. This should be K-Rock. I think he's found just about every other dead end thus far. And indeed it is. is to one, I believe, now. As Error finishes up Palace 4. Gonna have to head on back over to the Eastern Continent to finish up 3, 6, and 5. by Jacob or Ender's Palace for here. Uh, Freddy just found things a little bit faster than Jay Coper did. Medicine was in the uh, Nukasudo spell location where the magical key is normally found. Uh, just kind of the order of towns that uh, Eru went to kind of gave him the advantage in that aspect as he did find spell before finding Nukasudo, so he was able to find the medicine, which is the item that blocks the thunder spell. Uh, Jay Coper unfortunately found Nukasudo before finding the spell spell uh, and did not opt to go back as he already had the trophy, so he may actually spend time looking in palaces here. Uh, instead of uh, just making his way towards the end of the game, as he will still be looking for the medicine to get Thunder. Air has just made some pretty smart routing choices thus far. Uh, this kind of just rocketed him, him to, into the lead here. Uh, he's just found things in a little bit of a better order and slightly quicker, uh, and it just has multiplied the lead. He's also been able to grind a little bit uh, on the fly, perhaps, uh, killing some Lazalfos as he goes to get some earlier attack levels, which has paid off just a little bit as well. But overall, a very, very forgiving seed. Um, nothing too trolly. Uh, glove and wrap boots right away, along with the hammer on the Eastern Continent, or the Western Continent. A uh, very easy magical key find on the eastern continent, and uh, outside of perhaps the spell item in Nuka Sudo, uh, being the item that uh, blocks thunder, there's really not much in this seed that's too complicated. As we do see Error finish up Palace 3 as Jay Coper finds the item in P4, and it is just in fact a 500 P bag. Uh, which actually isn't terrible. Uh, it will get him fairly close to his next level, which I'm sure that he's uh, not too upset with. Meanwhile, 655 for error here with two palaces left. Uh, pretty well set up to go uh, full gem evil at 666 and at the Great Palace if he chooses to do so. choose to just ferry feed through some of these encounters. Uh, not exactly simple to get up to uh, the palace, as it is entwined inside just a little bit, but I believe you can get through with just one encounter. And you will find uh, Palace 5 here. Which leaves Palace 6 to be in Valley of Death. Uh, 
Meanwhile, Jake Ober does locate K-Rock. Gonna finish up his second palace here. Uh, unfortunately for Jake Oper, uh, just that one little bitty thing of not going back to Nuka Sudo, which I don't believe uh, was very far uh, from where old Kasudo was, um, it's going to, to cost him a whole bunch of time as he's going to be looking for items in these palaces when uh, the item that he needs is uh, far, far away in a town. Jake Oper does finish up P4. Let me go ahead and skip that in order to get the next attack level. I can't say that I disagree. So overall, this seed very, uh, very tame compared to a lot of the ones that we've had uh, this week um, in both the tournament play and practice. Very, very little backtracking involved. Uh, if you find uh, the spell item required for Thunder, it's just going back to uh, to Mido, which you were going to do anyways to get downstab. So, not really much of a backtrack there, if uh, if any at all. About the only thing that I could say is a little bit of uh, of back and forth on the. Uh, Eastern and Western continents, trying to figure out what to do, but outside of that, been a uh, very solid play. Yeah, that is very possible, for sure. It seems like the path in five is, uh, is a pretty long path, no matter what you do, so, um, quite linear. Does find a dead end though, so we'll see uh, exactly where he needs to go next. Meanwhile, Jake Oper, I believe, checking and looking for a palace too. Located. Uh, a wise fairy out of that room by air. That is a fantastic room to deal with, with the uh, the trollfish and everything. So yeah, quite the path here to, uh, to Guma, it seems. Very long. Uh, and unless this ends up at a dead end, then, um... Not, not a whole lot of time. And it is, is the item room, so... Um, I, uh, you know, Palace Pi 5 not being very kind to error here. Again, the only downside being that, um... Unless he goes back to New Kasuto pretty quickly, Jake Oper is going to be searching every palace for that item to see whether or not it is a medicine. It's a tough call, Rose City. I mean, you're 51 minutes in, you've got two palaces down, you're in your third. Um, but, with as much stuff that's been available, I mean, glove, raft, boots, hammer, and magic key, super early. Uh, I would probably, at least for me, feel very behind. I, I feel like he might think he is a tad behind, but with it just being that one item for Thunder, uh, he may feel like he's very well on track. It's, it's something we'll have to ask him when he comes in for an interview, but... Uh, again, it's just the the situation of Error found the towns in a different order, and it just played out for him to get that... Uh, to get the Thunder item. And we did see an up A by air there, runs into yet another dead end in P5, so 
uh, doing about the full explorer, so this will give Jay Coper a, a little bit of time to catch up, but again, Jay Coper is item searching now in, in Palace 2 as well, um, whereas Error is not, so uh, losing any kind of time that was actually gained by Error taking the wrong direction. And finds yet another dead end. And meanwhile, we do finally have a helmet head find on Jake Oper's side. Easily takes care of him. Not a problem in the world. Yeah, Error's combat skills are near the top for sure, and, and we've seen a lot of that with the uh, the Lizalfos kills and the Blue Iron Knuckle fast kills and that such thing. Uh, it, it does help. Uh, you know, those enemies that you might normally skip, he's been able to kill and get, again, some earlier levels um, that has helped him through some of these palaces and encounters. And unfortunately, finds yet another dead end, uh, has not found the correct direction to get to Guma yet. Uh, I would have to think that at this point, uh, this is going to be pretty close, uh, and as, as in fact uh, the, uh, the eco key room, uh, there's a sh offshoot over here that he hasn't taken yet that, that has to lead to Guma at this point. And meanwhile, we do have a Palace Three for Jay Coper. So I would say this is a pretty close match if it weren't for the fact that uh, Jay Coper is item searching in all of these dungeons when the Thunder item is in fact in New Kasudo. Era trying to remember which directions he's have gone. Yeah, I would be lost in this B5 as well. It's a uh, it's a ringer, that's for sure. That is correct, Ryan. The spell, uh, the magic key location contained the medicine, which is used for thunder. Error found the spell spell in old Kasudo before finding new Kasudo, and the opposite for Jay Coper. And he did not opt to backtrack as he had already found the trophy off of Maze Island and made the 50-50 play that it was, in fact, the item required for Thunder and uh, lost. And while we do have a Ribbonac kill, so Jay Coper evening up the palaces here. But again, the, uh, the Thunder item being the major difference. Error still trying to figure out where the heck to go in P5 here. But outside of outside again of uh, if you're just tuning in, outside of the kid being in P or in the uh, Nukasudo spell location, uh, everything else was pretty much wide open. Uh, we had the the boots, the raft, the glove, and the hammer all on Western Continent in the five caves, and the magical key in one of the very easily accessible and findable P bag caves on the Eastern Continent. So um, you know, super easy seed overall. Back to the item room for error, still trying to figure out where the heck to go here in Palace 5. As Jake Oper is back in Palace 3, doing an item search for that medicine. So again, uh, Jake Oper could be making up a lot of time here, or copious if you want to say, amounts of time uh, on error, but unfortunately, uh, again, searching for the items in these palaces uh, is going to come up empty-handed. Outside of perhaps some uh, magical containers or some heart containers. And 
as we do finally, finally find Guma on Error's side. I'm sure he is ecstatic to have finally found him. And check out the fight. Man, I wish I could do this. Makes that look so easy. Unfortunately, I don't believe we have a jump spell for error. So unless he does the short jump jackhammer, uh, we may not see a jackhammer in P6, but we, we shall see. Alright, so. Heading out of Palace 5, just as Jacober enters Palace 5. We have a changing of the guard. Unfortunately, Goomba's already dead. So is gonna get no additional experience. Tough break there. So just Palace 6 in Valley of Death left for error. And we know GP is directly west of start. I think it's uh, four tiles west, one tile north. See how long it takes for Jacober to make it through P5. I believe Error found every room at least twice. So we'll see if he can gain some ground here. Anything is still possible. If uh, P6 takes too long here, um, it's, it's very possible for, for Jacober to make a comeback between uh, GP and, and Palace 6. So uh, but we'll see how this works out. Nice, nice pink color for Palace 6 here. So yeah, I mean, uh, unfortunately for Jay Coper, that, uh, that little turning point of uh, that item required once again for Thunder um, or Reflect has been kind of the turning point overall for these matches lately. If it weren't for that, this would be a very close match with uh, still P6 left and, and GP to go through. Uh, there is still, still time for Jay Coper to come back, however. However, you have to imagine that he is going to be looking for the item in P5 and P6, which can take quite a bit of extra time as well. Go ahead left at the drop and see where this takes him. <clears throat> Always pretty interesting when this is the required direction to go. It's a red jar for his trouble there after uh, the red iron knuckle. Which is nice because he needed the magic for fairy in this next room. Jake Oper still going through P5 here. Everyone's favorite room of Palace 6. Ooh, just barely makes that jump. Uh, <laughs> very close to, uh, to missing that one.
So yeah, at this point, uh, you know, if I'm Jay Cooper, I, I probably feel very behind. Uh, an hour or two in, I'm searching palaces for the item or reflect. Um, I still have not a whole lot left, really, honestly. There is P5, P6, the item in Ugasudo, and of course, Death Mountain. I believe that's all that he has left. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you're... For me, I'd be sweating. Because uh, I always know it ends up being the last place I check. And unfortunately, uh, just the way the pathing has worked out, it's more efficient for him to check the palaces than try to go back to uh, old or to New Casuto, as it's uh, way up in the north, I believe, and not readily accessible. You have to take a cave to get there. Uh, and the horn pickup in P5 for Jay Coper. Probably very unhappy to find that. Meanwhile, Air is still trucking his way through P6 here. Hasn't been very kind either. But he is going to. Well, it's a Ribbon Act fight. He's gonna. Uh, no, it's not. It is the item. No, it's not the item room. This is just a pass through here. I can never remember. Looks like one of the Reben Egg fights, but not quite. That is the item room. And he's just going to pass up that fight and move on through. Actually looks like Error with a little bit of experience, which he should easily get from uh, Barba, is going to actually be 667 heading into GP, which is pretty good numbers overall. It would be interesting, and it is possible. I, no, he's got the, the ability to get through. No, he doesn't have jump. There might, that one room where the vertical blocks are, that you generally need upstab for in Great Palace. I'm not sure if you can get through that room or not without upstab, but that would be interesting if you can't, as he doesn't have that or the jump spell. Uh, we keep him from being able to complete it. Doesn't get the short jackhammer. I'm sure he'll try again, though. All the hits. All the hits. Pretty quick, easy Barba, even without the jackhammer. And Era's gonna finish up P6 here, and I just assume you up A and head directly to GP. Uh, meanwhile, Jake Hoper still exploring Palace 5, which is quite the palace overall. Very convoluted path to get to uh, Guma. And what is seven oh five? The entrance time for air into GP. Oh my goodness, the very, <laughs> the very early T-Bird. Mixed feelings on this one I know from the community. It's nice to get it out of the way, but at the same time, so much palace afterwards. G 
Jay Coper still searching for that direction to Guma, and I believe, if I remember correctly, this heads back to the Ida Room, which he has already located. Or maybe not, as that Stealthos is still there. Now this goes to this little thing, so yeah, he might be on his way to Guma here. Very nice kill here for Area 70. Two. Uh, just as Mr. Coper finds Guma, it takes a very, very quick death. Even with Life 7, Guma's still hitting like a truck. Drop number one. And no upstab, no jump. He's gonna have to ferry around. Pretty much his only choice here. And we do have a P5 finish for Jake Oper. So one palace and one thunder item behind here. Always nice to fall into that room early as well. Kind of get it out of the way. Anybody keeping track of how many hits it takes to kill the bots? And we do see the fairy room, which if any indication is there, you always go left at the fairy room. Always. Cooper does make his way over to VOG. Huh. Very interesting. Room loops back upon itself. That is always fun. Nice circular room there. Error taking a nice little bit of a hesitation there, trying to uh, wrap his head around that one. Down to a single life here. <laughs> and uh, at the beck and call, we have an inflatable dick shake here to refresh Error 72. So I believe that the option that is left is, in fact, left at Ferry. Meanwhile, Jake Oper, I would have to assume, I'm going to be checking for the item here in P6. Um, we don't know what it is, but he's sure to be disappointed when it is not the medicine. I prefer to be dig shirred, uh, stirred instead of dig shaken, but uh, you know, to each their own. I do not remember the path to uh, to Barba here in P6, so we'll see how Jacober does. I like those fire strats. Um, red ropes suck, honestly, in the waffle room. And uh, I don't mind using fire if it's pretty cheap to help get rid of them. Ooh, and another drop. This one's, uh, I believe, required. I don't know that there's any other direction that you could go, so... Do have a fun room. Uh, meanwhile, Jake Oper, I believe, is going the correct direction here to get to do uh, Barba.
Oh. And the Eon Drop. As we know is always required. <laughs> always. Always required. Left it fairy. Drop it Eon. I don't know why people don't understand it yet. Save yourself some frames. And it, look at that! Eon drop! Next room! Dark Link! Coincidence? I think not. Be a very, very simple Dark Link fight here for Error 72. Gonna wrap this seat up in a pretty solid time. 114. 18 for Error on the dot done. Fantastic race here by Error 72. Uh, outside of perhaps a little bit of routing between the East and West, as well as the, uh, you know, the P5 shenanigans. That was uh, a sick run by error there. The error gonna move to two and zero. Oh. Um, this guy's this guy is a guy to be feared, in my opinion. Uh, you know, he stated at the tournament he actually wasn't even gonna play because he felt like he wasn't good enough at randomizer to be in the tournament, forgot to drop out after GDQ, and is now 2-0, guaranteeing himself into the play-in race at the very least, uh, and showing no quarter for his opponents thus far. So, uh, very solid play. Very impressive indeed. Go ahead and mute Error's uh, audio here, as I'm sure he's going to join me in Discord. Uh, welcome, Error. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. So, so what did we learn? Uh, one, don't get lost in Palace 5. Uh, two, always take the Eon drop. And always go left at Fairy. <laughs> always go left at Fairy. Yeah, that, that outside uh, of... Uh, Maybe some some slight routing decisions on what you wanted to do as far as palace order and getting lost in P5. That was a very smooth run. Uh, the I was super scared when I missed the jump in P6, the false forward. That fell in the Canadian hole, and I was scared Barba was to was to the uh, to the uh, room to the right. That has happened before, and it does take a bit to get back there. Uh, but I didn't have jump, so jump was. Oh, yes, like indeed. Trophy. That was actually the uh, the trophy item, which was on Maze Island, uh, which brings me to the next point of where this uh, this race kind of went awry for Jay Coper. Uh, the route that you took, uh, oh man, and the pee bag in Palace Six here for Jay Coper, uh, kind of disheartening. The route that you took ended up giving you cas old Casudo before finding new Casudo, which actually was the key to this match. Uh, it was the opposite for Jay Coper, and he did not make the choice to go back to New Casudo, <laughs> which is where the medicine is. Uh, so he has actually full cleared right. every palace looking for the medicine. Uh, and all he has left now I is felt... Death Mountain and, and where it's okay. at. So, so obviously, this was a very generous seed right off the get-go. Um, for sure, yeah. Basically, everything you could want, just right at the beginning. Um, so, well, besides, you know, early down staff, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, so once I saw I had, like, all these, these goodies, I decided, it's like, well, I did Palace 1 because I was there, and I don't even remember what was in Palace. Palace 1 had cross, right? So, yes. I uh, did Palace 1 while I was there, and... Then I decide, okay, let's find all the towns because I want to see if I need to, to search for an item. And I got scared a little bit when it came down to the 50-50 between trophy and medicine, and I didn't have either. So I was very happy to see medicine in, uh, in Old Casuto. Um, and very happy to see Thunder and 
I either thought I would either be way ahead or uh, Cooper had just as much luck as I did and be really close. Yeah, I mean, the the worst thing that could have happened but would it be... Also uh, being scared that maybe the upstab would be required, but... Yeah, you know. I was wondering about that. He did get upstab. Um, the, I mean, I think the worst thing that could have happened, actually, would be the uh, the old lady hold, uh, hiding the medicine. Uh, as it looks like the two other magic containers that haven't been found are both on Death Mountain, uh, which means you would have to trek into there to actually get the seven required. And... Um, uh, at this point, Jake Hopper just finishes up P6. He's going to have an option of what he's going to do. Uh, and again, I think the main thing was that he didn't feel like it was a good routing choice to go back to New Casuto from where he was. And, uh, you know, that just, that's what cost him. And it's unfortunate, but it's, it's again, it's about being efficient with what you've got. Uh, you know, he had all these palaces left. Uh, it was just one location. And, you know, who would have knew? But it seems to be... That has been the deciding factor a lot of the time is just that that one routing, de you know, deviation just blows a seed wide open for one person and ruins it for the other. Right. So other than that, the, the seed was went very well. Um, I don't know what else I could really say about it. I got lucky when I needed to. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, again, outside of P5... Um, getting lost there a little bit. And Jake Hopper didn't have a very good time either. That was a pretty conf a confusing P5. Uh, you know, that that was super solid play. I mean, I know you had I'd stated before that uh, you didn't feel like you were very good at randomizer, but I think you're proving quite otherwise. Uh, believe it or not, I almost went left at the beginning uh, uh, path in the uh, Great Palace. <laughs> well, good thing you didn't. <laughs> good thing I didn't. So, yeah, we've got, uh, it looks like... So, uh, I never found Death Mountain, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I, De Jake Hopper did find an entrance. He, he peeked into the opening caves and ducked right on back out. So, uh, I actually think... Um, no, he is going to take the raft. So, he is going to head to New Casuto before going to Death Mountain, which he'll be happy with that choice. Uh, yeah, I mean, if he had actually made that choice, he would not have been very far behind. Uh, I think with the way that you played it, you probably would have still kept the lead, but uh, he did finish up Palace 5 faster than you did, even finding the item. So I think that would have probably equalized a lot of it. And, I found uh, the item twice. Yeah, you found the I item twice. Times. Yeah, and still didn't pick it up. Uh, but it was, which was uh, actually the horn, which would have been, you know, actually going to help Jay Coper, I think, uh, as the horn is going to allow him to get up here to New Casuto uh, without taking that pass. So... Um, you know, will help a little bit at, at the very least, but uh, I, this would have been very close if he had, if he had gone back to New Casuto at the very beginning. Uh, also, shout outs to Cave with three swamp tiles. <laughs> I love it, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, what else do you have, uh, have to say? Uh, I mean, again, this has probably been... I would say one of the most generous seeds that we've had so far this tournament. I mean, you, on Western Continent alone, you had glove, raft, boots, and hammer. And then, uh, you know, you get thrown the magic key in a very readily accessible pee bag cave on Eastern Continent. So, uh, as you were saying earlier, pretty much everything you could ask for and reflect right off the bat as well. And it actually kind of helped that I got boots blocked on Eastern Continent because I went because I believe I went Eastern Continent before I took the pass through cave. And so when I got blocked there, uh, I, I did not go into whatever palace that was in the graveyard. Um, but Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you both actually made that decision. Uh, that's why I said it was very close, back and forth. You both went to Eastern Continent at the same time, uh, made pretty much the exact same decision as far as routing and such goes. Just you pulled ahead a little bit there, um, your combat skill is kind of shining through with the, you know, the Lazalfos and whatnot. Got you a couple of extra levels early, which helped, you know, propel you a little bit farther ahead. But uh, it was just that breaking point of the, the way that you went to the towns versus the way that he went to the towns really made all the difference. Five hundred point Lazalfos were very nice, especially when they're free kills like that. But I can't, I didn't spend any time, too much time grinding on them. I mean, when they were there, I. Well, right, but, you know, like, you killed a couple of blue ones really quick that most people wouldn't be able to do. There was the blue iron knuckle kill that was fantastic. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not a lot, but, you know, as you add up 
as you start getting more of those levels in life and magic, those those kills actually add up a lot towards getting you higher attack levels earlier. And it just so happened that and while he's going to end with better levels than you, you had the better levels earlier, which, again, just pushed you a little bit farther. Right. But yeah. Fantastic run again. Uh, quite fun I'm more to watch. Likely to, I'm more likely to dive into just normal tiles on the eastern continent because they're much more likely to contain a pea bag because the western continent has all those forest tiles that are there to hide that goo right and that that, that are basically worthless so but if i go to eastern continent early and, and see one of those random tiles I, I may peek in there and see if i can get an early 500 point pea bag which i did and ended up getting life attack three before i left before i up eight out of uh the eastern continent which very nice and Jay Cooper does get thunder to make his way into GP. So still going to be a fantastic time for him, despite uh, full clearing everything with Death Mountain. Um, it's just it's it's crazy. I, I don't know how you guys do it so fast, but you do. Uh, it really I think it's a lot of a combat makes a big difference um, as far as you know skill level in this game goes. You're easily in the top five, I mean, but you know if not top four. You are you are very good at the combat portion of this game and. Uh, it definitely shows. I don't know what. I think just by process of elimination, fire spell was reflex spell. Uh, we had determined that it was life. That was life. Ah. Now we could be wrong, but I think we I had would, determined that it was life. I would like to have known that. For some reason, I thought it was reflect, and then try it again because it was pretty cheap at the end. I guess I could have checked my video because I cast fire before dark link. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the chat is confirming that it was, in fact, life. Cool in the Gang said that he tried it, so apparently he was playing this alongside. And it can confirm. Uh, what do you think of the early T-Bird? Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on that? Uh, is it nice to get it out of the way uh, and just be done with it early so you don't have to conserve magic? Or is it frustrating because then you realize that you've got pretty much the entirety of uh, GP to go through uh, afterwards? Uh, at, at the time, I was super relieved because, like I say, I... I almost considering going left at the first, <laughs> at the uh, at the elevator, which right. would have been really really bad. Um, but early T bird is is a relief just because I know that any drop I take is liable to be really good, even though I skipped the Eon drop because I. It, it, it's just in my mind. I can't take that risk. Well, I mean, you always check the screen to the to the east, right? You, you never skip that screen. But uh, you know, a lot of times you'll see that that's actually another drop, and you always go back and you always take the Eon drop. It'll <laughs> it'll never it'll never turn you down. Great. Now, obviously, that's not the truth, but you know, it's been very prevalent in recent matches that. Uh, the Eon drop has led to Dark Link, and Left at Fairy has been the way to go. It's just kind of odd. Uh, I mean, obviously, that's going to, over the course of, uh, you know, the tournament and other seeds, not to, you know, end up being true. But uh, it, it is kind of odd how many seeds have been that way lately. I did right. like the uh, the loop through the Jackamus room. That was pretty fun. Well, if it's going to loop, that's the best kind of loop. You did, I saw you took like a little bit of a hesitation. You're like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Always nice when that happens. But yeah, again, congratulations. Um, very solid run. Uh, you might want to look up a map of P5 for the randomizer, but you know. Yeah, I, I thought I had gone down that elevator because I did the up A. And I was actually pretty dang close to the elevator, so I was sad. Yeah, it and then, happens. And then, and then I got a, a bit confused on the... I got the... Oh my gosh, I, what room is it? It's the room where you have the, the string of two tile-high blocks with spaces in the middle. Oh, right, right. I got those two confused, and I thought, it's like, wait a second, did I not go up the other one? But then <laughs> I had I had decided, it's like, wait a second, I, I found all the left dead ends. Eventually, I found, I decided I found all the left dead ends and don't take any more lefts, ever. 
<laughs> but you know, it is what it is. And Shakeover making his way through here. He did up A, uh, whereas you had actually backtracked and then went through the fairy room. He uh, up A'd. Uh, it's going to have to eventually end up in the same place again. Uh, fortunately, none of the drops really forcing you to any bad place. Uh, all of them being required. At least the ones that we saw uh, in the path that you took. Right. Which is always nice. Uh, that is the nice thing about an early T-Bird. I suppose, though, with the left path, uh, you could actually get looped behind T-Bird, uh, which would really suck. Uh, but it is a possibility. But yeah, again, you're you're qualified for the play-in race. Um, Yay. I mean, what, a, <laughs> what are your thoughts on, uh, you know, the different flags and such? Well, I've got you here. I mean, we got a little bit till Jake Oper finishes. Um, as the next round progresses, uh, you lose a candle. Uh, I don't think you're too worried about having that or not, but as far as like the randomizer experience goes, um, does your play differ a whole lot without a candle going through a lot of those earlier caves or, uh, are, you know, you, you confident enough in your combat skills that it won't matter. I'm more concerned with getting as many items as I can. And if it ends up resulting in deaths and game overs, so be it. Hey, I found an item cave. Yay. Uh, I'm I'm not too concerned about being candleless, other than uh, potential VOD shenanigans, but or lava tile shenanigans. Uh, ah, yes. But to, to be honest, I haven't really looked at the flag sets too much. But mostly, it's hey, the game gets harder, and uh, as far as base Zelda two goes, I'm one of the best players in the tournament so the harder the game gets the better off i actually end up being generally yeah yeah i know like i don't think uh, magic container requirements come into play until the finals but the final four um i believe is what it is is actually going to have uh, magic container that, requirements on i'm not particularly thrilled with that flag i don't like it but play by the rules that are in the tournament so yeah but yeah, it's a, it's a lot of fun to watch to watch you play. Uh, it's kind of sad you didn't have the jump spell for our Barba, but, you know, it does happen. I did try and do jumpless jackhammer at the very beginning, but, but timed the jump late, so I didn't actually get the uh, get the ride up to the top. Yeah, still quick kill nonetheless. Got at least, I think, two hits per cycle in there more than I can get, which is uh, which is always cool. And, of course, the Guma fight. Guma went all right. 200 point Guma, 700 point uh, uh, Vibonac. Yeah, it's always uh, always nice when bosses give minimum. And in your case, it didn't matter too much, but uh, it can be it can be troublesome sometimes. But other than that, I like easy seeds. Like, well. I like it and dislike easy seed just because, like that, just because, well, easy seed, don't have to worry about it too much. But uh, hard seeds, like, well, I'm, I'm one of the better players. I, I like want hard seeds. Yeah, right. You know, it, it is nice to get an easy one every now and then, but you obviously want to be able to play to your strengths. And, uh, you know, again, this one was, was really, really simple other than new Kasudo spell item. And uh, that was, that was pretty much it. So uh, could skip basically everything else. Cause you know, what you needed was along the path. Right. I do think you had to get fairy. Fairy was actually required in the seed uh, to get through P five. Right. Uh, Jake Coper has found dark link. Very swift. Easy fight for him there. Going to finish on up with a time of 1.32.30 for Jay Coper. Good game to him.
I'm sure that he will join us here very shortly. But yeah, as uh, as Arnak said in chat, rough luck. Uh, it's a very competent player. Just so happened that uh, did not get the correct order of operations. Yeah, his uh, comment tells all. I'm not going back for that spell spell item. Very small chance it's required. Yeah, I mean, again, it was just, it was, I, I don't say that I blame him. Uh, it was a bit of a trek, uh, I believe, from Kasudo back to New Kasudo, and um, it's, you know, that's just the way it goes. We'll assume he's going to come and visit eventually. Did Jacoba take a different pass through cave than I did to get to uh, that area? That would probably explain things. Hello. So yeah, uh, that race quite literally was the spell item in Kasu North, uh, New Kasuto. That was basically it. You guys were uh, neck and neck for the most part, and you know, uh, keep it up with each other, and that's basically where it deviated, unfortunately. Yeah, that's that's too bad. You know, I had, like, uh, what, like, four spells left or something, I think, to find at that yeah. point. And then, uh, you know, it just happened to be the spell for, like, the item that I didn't have, for, first of all, and then the item happened to be there. Like, that's such a small chance that the thing I needed was there. So it, it definitely didn't seem walking all the way back through town for not um, in a race like this where I'm going to need like every second basically. Yeah, so. I, I can I can definitely say I don't I don't fault you for what you did. I don't, I don't know that I would have either. Um, it was just again the, the fact that uh, you guys took a different pass through cave uh, and error found Kasuto first and then mounted his way all the up uh, and you came from the north down and uh, that's just kind of the way it worked out. Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> it's all right. It's not like Error is an undeserving opponent. It would have been fun to win, but um, I'm not sure I would have won regardless of finding that um, finding that that item earlier and getting that spell right when I got downstabbed. That would have been quite something. I it sure would have made me feel a lot better i would have been in go mode right then but uh you know um at the very least it would have been close though and it would have been a more interesting race but the yeah that's how it goes yeah and i think it actually would have been really close uh, unfortunately error took a few scenic tours through all of palace 5 um, took him quite a while to find Guma. Probably the only real, I would say, routing or mapping mistake that he made, but uh, did end up in the item room two or three times and uh, just missed that one pass off the elevator to get to Guma, uh, which would have actually given you oh. plenty of time. You, uh, at that time, had been, you were in, I think, Palace 3 as he was still going through 5, uh, and had you not needed to find any of the items, you probably would have been very close going into GP. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that's unfortunate. My uh, my Palace 5 was not optimal. Like, I got a little confused 
and decided to up an A from that one dead end, but it wasn't an optimal up an A. I, uh, I should have just walked it back and then taken the elevator back up, but there were so many different paths that I wasn't 100% sure of what I had taken, so. Right. Uh, but I, I didn't, I didn't, like, end up in the item room twice or anything, but, um, yeah. But I was looking for the item, so the one time I ended up in the item room was, uh, was intentional. Yeah, I mean, still, again, uh, for basically, once again, almost 100% seed outside of the, uh, what would have been two matching containers on Death Mountain. Uh, very fantastic time. Uh, just unfortunate that uh, it just came down to, you know, that, that branching path of an item for a spell again. Yeah. Oh, well, there was a... Uh... Is it pretty good seed overall I think I don't know I, I I always feel a little optimistic when um when I uh, uh when I find the key I, f I feel like I play better with the key um as opposed to you know some of the higher people who are pretty good with all the key but uh he was very nice in the seat, because at the very least, very was still very expensive at uh, Magic 3. Yeah. yeah. I... I don't know. I didn't... As usual, I didn't go into a single palace until I had the key and the glove and everything, so... Worked out well. I don't yeah. know what you did. Neither did I. Okay. Yeah. Um... It was a little interesting in the beginning because I, you know, I got the raft right away, and then I'm right by the docks. I'm like, oh, well, might as well go over there. And then there was nothing I could do on the in the east, basically. So then got the boots in the south, and then went immediately back to the east. Um, once I had the boots, and then found out that the boots weren't very helpful at first, but then eventually got me to Maze Island and um. Everything else over there. So maybe another deviation that we did was that yeah. I went south with the boots first. So I yeah. didn't see I didn't see the River Devil block until later. And oh. then I started then I started looking through different pass through caves. I I went south at first too. Okay. I only found the flute because I was looking for the the medicine. So I didn't expect that the flute was required or anything. Um, but when I got the flute, it was certainly more convenient to use that later to get back to the north. Right. So that wasn't the that wasn't a matter of intentional routing. That was just um that, that was just a convenience at the end. So. All right. Well, good game. Congrats. Same. Thanks. We'll uh, maybe we'll be racing again someday. Good luck being on whatever poor soul you meet in at one and one. <laughs> yeah, there will, Please there don't will be, be some, me. There will be some challenging people at one and one <laughs> still. <laughs> you know, people like Jack and AA will be there. And let's hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> Indeed. Well, thank you guys so much for uh, dropping in for an interview, and uh, congratulations to Air. Yep. Thanks it for the restream, HN. Thank you. Yeah, I apologize. There's a lot of drop frames, so it will skip a little bit. But uh, I was not sure what's causing it, but it hasn't been too terrible, I don't think. And so uh, we've got uh, that's it for tonight, I believe. Uh, tomorrow we've got three races starting at. We get this 5.30 Eastern on twitch.tv slash digshake. Uh, that's be Buzz, Thunder, and Trestle MTG. Uh, then followed up starting at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern on Angry Larry's channel, twitch.tv slash angry, angry Larry. There'll be a doubleheader uh, with the Countess versus Jacobus. Uh, and then Scorpion Max versus Zarnax42. So be sure to catch those tomorrow night on said channels. Um, this has been Adagenos. Thanks again to our racers and uh, everybody in the chat. I hope you all have a great night. <laughs>